everyone. I am just about to do my Saturday appointments. So I have a couple of fittings and a couple of deliveries today. Um, so I have cleared the space behind me for the fitting and um, which is where we do it here in front of the mirror. Um, and then I've got a couple of things to do out and about in town. So this afternoon I've got to go and get a few things. Um, I'm also sporting my brand new blazer, which I'm loving. I'll see if I can show you properly. Um, I bought this blazer yesterday at, at De Cuba, De Colba. I really don't know how to pronounce it. If anyone knows how to pronounce it, please tell me. So I'll put a link to them below, but this blazer is so cute. So here is this blazer. It's like a Balmain blazer um, in the way that it's kind of military style. It has the gold buttons. Um, the fabric is really, really nice. It's sort of like a crepe, but it's a real soft crepe and it has a little bit of stretch. So it's really comfortable to wear. Um, and it's got the little pockets on either sides and it also has this cute um, button detail on the sleeves. Which you could probably see. I've pulled my sleeves up because I'm a bit of a shorty and I find that if it's if they were long I actually need to get them tailored so until I get them tailored up I will just wear it like this um, and I've just teamed it up with this boohoo uh, cute little tiger print tee um, and also some boohoo um, paper bag trousers and these are just like a real stretch like a jogger but a dressy jogger um, they're narrow at the ends and there's a bit of a waist tie and they're high-waisted with pockets and um, I bought this yesterday too so it was on special at La Vizza and it's a um, I really wanted like a, a circle necklace like this but I wanted a smaller circle and I wanted it higher but you know I needed sort of something. I've got my layering necklaces here, which I've been wearing, which have been driving me nuts because they've been getting really, really tangled. Um, so I just wanted something a little bit longer to sort of hang over my clothes when I have like high neck tops and things like that. So I'm just testing this out to see if I like it. I've lit my beautiful candle. So I'll show you that. So I've actually bought a whole bunch of candles for my studio. And what I like to do is light a candle. This one's from Glass House. I pretty much only buy Glass House because I find that the fragrance is so nice. I normally do Amalfi Coast, but I'm having a bit of a break from Amalfi Coast because it can get a little bit musky. So um, this one is the Passion Fruit and Lime, which is the Rio de Janeiro scent. So it's a beautiful scent. Every time I uh, light it in my studio, I always get comments. So I always have people going, wow, what is that amazing smell? And it's always that candle. So that's always, you know, I, I get kind of used to them. So I don't um, smell it after a while. But when clients comment, I know that it's a good scent. Yeah, so kind of busy day today. I'm starting to get a headache so I've already taken some painkillers I think a migraine's coming I actually think I'm having some eye problems which is why um, I'm I've constantly got this like eye issue I feel like it's too bright and I need to wear sunglasses and I constantly feel like I'm getting a migraine I think it's my eyes and I think I need glasses now I already have glasses for my desk like for the computer which I'm now starting to wear a lot more, but I'm just finding, I think my eyesight's changed because I'm finding that I need, I'm just getting this feeling all the time. So I think I might need like constant glasses. So we're gonna start to get ready for these fittings. Um, we're going to pour some shampers and get all the forms organized. I always make sure I have people's files out just in case I've missed anything, in case I needed to make a veil and I didn't, you know, all that sort of thing. So um, I always like to cross check everything just before they arrive. Um, and then we'll go out and do a couple of things a little later on. And I need to go to Kmart actually and buy a couple more gym things. Um, it is a Saturday today. So it's, I like to keep it a little bit easy and breezy, but, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. It's always hard when I'm working on a Saturday because I feel like I have to, I don't, I don't like wearing jeans, even though I work from home, I don't wear jeans or anything like that. Um, I try and dress professionally because 
you know, I am a professional business, so um, I'm always mindful about how I present myself. Now, in saying that, my hair is looking really, really crap today, even though I've done it. Um, it is not freshly washed. That's probably why. It's a day or two old. But it shouldn't look this bad. It's looking really, like, ratty. And the flyaways... Maybe I need to run a straightener through it again. I don't know. And curl it. I tried to do that this morning and you can sort of see the weird kinks that are going on. We are in the studio. Uh, I'm in the little fitting room. And what I do is I set up um, the first dress and I've got the other ones behind. So um, I set up the dress. It's freshly steamed, ready to go. Um, so the client walks in and just sees her dress immediately. Uh, we have a little mirror here as well. So um, we can sort of check it before she walks out and sees everyone else. Um, and then I've also got a veil for her and a belt. So that's what I put on this little lounge. are all done for today I am now gonna head out because I need to grab a couple of things from the shops um, I need to find some new gym clothes um, I want to try some really cheap makeup that I've been told is really really good um, so I've got my new little crossbody hanging out with me today it's a little bit full but this is the best crossbody um, and even trumps my little Gucci crossbody. So, and this was like the biggest, cheapest, um, the biggest bargain, that's what I was meant to say, um, that I've bought in a really, really long time. So, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, but here is my crossbody. It's basically got the same pattern as my Gucci. And it's got this beautiful little cheetah um, hardware on it. Uh, really cute. Looks a little bit Versace, um, but I've seen that. I've seen that a lot recently. So it is the smallest bag, well, looking bag, but it fits so much stuff. It fits way more than my little Gucci uh, Marmont bag, um, which I have in the small. And it looks that bag looks a lot bigger than this one. It's a lot longer, but for some reason, it just doesn't fit a lot. So. We're going to head out now and um, get a couple of things done. I am really having a bit of a hair crisis, which is a story for another video. But basically, this is me. I'm going to grab some lunch. I'm going to head out, grab some things from the shops, and then um, the rest of the day is pretty much free. So let's go. I'm in Kmart. And I've just found these really cute shoes. Check them out. So they're a point toe mule. They're flat. I was actually looking for ones with heels, but can't find those. But these, I think I will still get a lot of use out of them. And they look really polished. Um, nice. I think they're really nice. And they're only $12. Very nice. Thank you, Kmart. Morning again. It is Sunday morning and I normally don't work on Sundays but I've been a little bit busy at the moment and um, I've had to book a, a fitting in today um, because I wouldn't be able to get her in for another two weeks so I thought might as well do it now and start sorting out um, her alterations. So that's why I'm dressed um, and I'm actually wearing some collots and my cute new mules. Let me show you. So my hair is up in a top knot because I didn't actually have time to style it and blow dry it. Um, so I have washed it and I will sort of do that maybe this afternoon if I get some time. I'm wearing a mojito tee and um, some stripy collots and also my new mules. So these are the new ones that I bought yesterday from Kmart. What an absolute steal. They were 15 bucks. And then the first kind of mules of this kind of style for me. Um, and this is what I kind of like to do. So when I 
When there's a trend that I like, I would try and buy a cheaper version of the trend just to see if I like it, to see if I can style it with things, to see if it will work. And if it does, then I will invest a bit more money and, um, you know, buy a better version. Normally, cheaper um, high street fashion only really lasts a season or two. Um, and then it sort of, you know, goes in the bin but um, or gets recycled. Um, usually I find the quality is not great so they don't actually last the test of time. Um, which sometimes you don't want anyway, you know, when... If, if it's a fashionable item that's not going to be around in five years, I mean, you know, you don't want it to last that long anyway. Um, so, yeah, and I've just got a bit of a nude blazer on. Because I've been trying to wear this blazer for maybe a month now. And every time I wear it with something, it just doesn't look right. So I thought, you know what? I've got the nude mules. So I am going to try and work them into my wardrobe um, and work it into my outfit for today. Um, these pants are really, really big and they make me look really fat. So I have to hide them a little bit when I wear them. Um, also, the length is a little bit too long, I think. Because I'm a little bit of a shorty, they probably should go up a little bit higher to show a bit more leg, which will be a little bit more slimming for me. So this fitting is really a quick one. Um, I'm just basically pinning some lace on a dress. Um, so she needs to try that on and then I can pin the remaining lace and then we're good to go. And then her dress should be ready in about three or four days time. So you're coming along on Sunday as well. It's like weekend with me. Um, not that much fun this weekend because I'm working. Um, but you know, I've been managed to I've managed to do a little bit of shopping and stuff like that. So that's been a bit nice. I'm really on the hunt and I hate this when this happens to me. If this happens to anyone else, please let me know so I know I'm not crazy. Um, I get obsessed with something. I get obsessed with a trend or obsessed with something and I hunt, hunt, hunt for it. And I stop at nothing until I get it. I've looked online. I cannot find what I want. I've been trying. I've, I think I remember seeing this somewhere. So I'm looking for... Mules like the ones I was wearing, okay, the nude mules, but with heels. Um, so they come up really high. They're not just slip shoes. They're, they're slip on shoes, but they're quite high in the front and they're pointed. So pointed mule heels. I'll insert a picture. I think I'm after black leather ones. Um, I've seen some really amazing ones online. I've seen these orange ones with these really weird witchy heels. And I call them witchy heels because when heels go in and then out, I always think witches wear those. <laughs> so I'll insert a picture of those. I really, really love them. I don't know whether I should buy them because I just don't think they're going to be an everyday item. Well, they're not because they're orange, right? But I'm thinking they might be really cool for like, you know, a statement look or fashion week or something like that. So... Let me know what you think. I know that some people hate these shoes and I started off thinking that they were a bit ugly, but now this is what happens with trends. You see them around and you, you want to wear them. You want to be that person wearing those shoes. So I'm trying to hunt down these shoes, but I don't want to pay heaps of money for them because I need to test out the trend. So I want to make sure that I'll get good use out of them. They can't be too high either. So a lot of them that I've been finding have had like really high heels. Anything like 10 centimeter heels? No, that's too high for me. Um, that's on my limit. But if I want to wear them comfortably a lot of the time, I have to wear them, you know, like probably at five or six centimeters max. So like small. Um, a kitten heel would be perfect, but we'll see. So my fitting, my one fitting is done and I've had a busy couple of days. I now need to rush over to the dressmaker because she needs to make a last minute alteration for me um, for a bride that's getting married in the next couple of weeks, but my dressmaker's going to be away. So, oh my God, this is quite stressful. Um, I have got so many wedding dresses. Look, so I've got three wedding gowns here. That are all folded up ready to go. It looks like two because I've folded two together. So, but there are three. Um, and I've also got two here, 
which I actually need to take as well. So I'm going to have to take them on each arm. Hopefully I don't need to do multiple trips. I absolutely hate multiple trips. I'm one of these people that will be a pack horse and just stack as many things as possible and break my arms. Anyway, I'm going to get going because I am in a mad rush today. I've got to rush over to her house. Hopefully she can get these done in two days. I have five dresses to give her. I don't understand it because I only just went to her like two days ago. Um, yeah, Friday, I think. And so now I need to give her five dresses. Uh, I mean, I, d I don't understand it. Anyway, well, I have finished up for the day. I've moved my fitting room behind me back to normal, back to my dining space. Um, I've done my hair because it really needed to be done and I've changed my bag over to my pink Louie um, so that we can head out into the city and just do a couple of things and see if I can find these shoes that I'm desperately wanting to find. So let's go. So this is me, same as before, just a couple of little tweaks. I've just changed the bag over. I think it matches my shoes a little bit better. Um, and just lightens the whole outfit and also my hair is um, done and I always feel a little bit better when my hair is done. Um, I'm transitioning lighter so I don't know it's sort of like an in-between at the moment. Let's go. Yes I was successful in finding the shoes that I've been looking for. So I've come back home. I'm sorry I couldn't film at all when I was at the shop because there were so many people around um, and I'm always really wary on people's privacy so I didn't want to film out and about uh, but I'll quickly show you my shoes because I really really love them. I've just put on a pair of tights um, just because it's what I wear every day and I think it'll give me a good idea on how the shoes look in the tights. I think the collots were a little bit maybe skew if with these um, shoes, even though I think they work okay. So, let me show you the shoes. So these are the first pair. So they're a black leather with a gorgeous, sort of a champagne pewter heel. And what I love about them is they're really, they're a chunky heel, but they go to a point at the end. So they still give you the security of a chunky heel, um, not like a stiletto which I really need. Um, so let's put them on. So I've just, I'm just wearing my tee and I've put a um, pair of tights on. So this is not really normally how I would dress, but the tights are, so it'll give you a bit of an idea. <clears throat> I think they actually look better with my collot pants. Um, but this is them, leather. And I actually had to go up a size and a half in these. One, because they didn't have half sizes, but two, because there's a little bit of, st there's a row of stitching right on the tip. So right here, there's a row of stitching. And because I have really, really wide feet, I just thought, you know what, for comfort, what do you reckon? What do you think? They're a little bit dressy, but I think they'll go really well with jeans. Um... They're just, you know, a really comfortable, they're full leather, they hug my feet really nicely. I think they actually look good if the um, pants were up a little bit, if you could see my leg. So I got up, went up a couple of sizes. So these are a 40 and I usually wear, um, 39s are usually big for me. I'm normally an 8 um, and a 39 is an 8.5 so... You know, this is like a nine and a half, basically, when I normally wear an eight. So. And because I loved those shoes so much, I actually bought them in white. I was actually looking for an ivory pair in that style. Um, so these are the whites. I actually think I like the whites a lot more. Is that crazy? The white has a silver heel, but they are just gorgeous. So comfortable, such good quality. They just hug my feet. They're a real kind of, you know, statement shoe. I actually really, really like them. I think I'm going to like the whites a lot more than the blacks, which is strange because I've never had white shoes in my life. Um, but I just love how they fit. And you can sort of see I'm right at the back of the heel there 
Um, so I'm only going to move forward a little bit. So I'm already like touching the back. So, you know, they might be about a centimetre in once I wear them in a little bit. I've been seeing these on Instagram and ones that are similar anyway. Um, and I just can't get enough. Well, there you go, guys. What do you think? Weird, right? It is a weird trend. I'm not going to lie. I do think it's a weird trend. Um, I would never wear them just with a t-shirt and tights like this. This is not my look. I don't do the gym look or the, you know, I do wear tights, but I try and wear a blazer that goes over my bum and a nice top and heels, that sort of thing. But um, I just wanted to put them on for you. And I, you know, probably should have kept my old clothes on. Um, I was just sort of just testing them out. But anyway, hope you love them as much as I do. I'm going to be wearing these as of tomorrow. Um, and I'll be getting a lot of use uh, at work, I think, in them. They're just so cute. Find of the century! Um, they were actually from Whitner, right? And they were actually in the sale section, and they were having 20% off sale items. So these were down to 90. They were 200, down to 90. And then I got 20% off. So they ended up being about $70, $72. Um, but I thought for leather shoes that are going to mold to my feet, high quality, they're going to last ages. Um, I thought winner, 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 chicken dinner. <laughs>